Hey there everyone. I'm gonna make a quick video or I hope it's quick. I'm needing to edit some pictures for a job I just did the other night. I finished late so it's all done in the dark. And here's the pictures I took with the floodlight. Um, the reason I decided to make this with my Vivitar image manager was my insight told me people were searching for this and they were getting a video I edited for fun of a girl dancing in her underwear I don't think you were looking for that I've already got my images off of another camera so that's been done I just click on manage images the pictures are already in there because I used my image manager to download it but if you needed to import pictures go to edit there's a couple ways to do it you can click on this little plus mark right here and you can either click on this and open the file or you can drag the pictures over onto the media window if you just wanted to get one too or they were in another file but since they're all in here already I just need to pick the ones I want to edit I've already pre-selected a list so you'll see the number of the images or whatever you name it here so I'm just gonna go to What's this one? I wanted to start with number 30. There. Um, see this resize button? This is the size of the picture, and the pixels could be the same on two different pictures, but that doesn't necessarily change the sizes um, for instance I'm trying to do a lot of stuff on the computer here okay this is the document maker I use now if I want to insert a picture and I select 30 actually I'm going to do a bright one how about this crazy look one here for the sake of making my video I selected 48 we open now as you can see it fills the whole page So, and I need to fit, fit six pictures on here, so this isn't going to work for me. I guess you could change the size of the picture like this with this software. But um, I do other things with the image manager, so I'm going to take that off. What number was that? crazy looking one. There it is. There. Now, with this camera, if I resize this to 260, and you can see the height and the width changes together for the same square, push OK, and it shrinks that down. Uh, if you go to another picture, it's going to ask you if you want to save, and I'm going to say no on this for right now because I'm going to show some of the other effects. This is a sharpen button. You can see it sharpen right before your eyes. Blurry. 
sharpen the image. So usually before I size it, I get all my enhancements done. So we're gonna sharpen this just a touch. And then this straighten button here, you can actually rock the picture back and forth. And this is one reason that I'll size it last because when you do this, and then you check the size, it got smaller. Straightening it makes the picture smaller. See? So straighten it like that make it crazy again it looks like I'm getting most of it in the picture here like this then here these are your dials you can brighten it if you wish and I guess you can play with contrast this is how I got a lot of the colors in my fun foxy dancer edit but I won't be doing any of that here there we go I think that might be a little bit too bright there okay I've got my picture sharpened straightened and brightened up a little bit now I'm going to resize Sixty, okay. Now I'm going to save that picture. And sizing it made it small, but if you wanted to do some more work on it, you just come back to it, brings it back up. Now going back to my document, insert a picture. There's the one we just changed, number 48. There it is, we open it. And as you can see, it's sized down, so I can put one there. And if I want to copy, there's two. I'm just doing this to show that you can fit six pictures on a page when you size them down. I've got a different camera. The pixel size is different to fit them on here the same way, but you may have to do some experiments, uh, make some several different sizes to take it over your page. And once you get the right size, you just make them all the same. So you can see how I got those on there. And then I can enhance another one. How about this one, the bicycles? I'm supposed to be getting this job done, but <laughs> I'm having fun making a video. Um, typical distracted procrastination, that is me. Okay, we'll fix this one up. Um, we'll try to straighten it always. I was trying to get these posts. Let's see what it does the other way. Eh, zooms in on it. So put it uh took the bikes out. There. There. Plenty of bicycles. The ramp looks good. This post is straight here. You've got this pot here. Then sharpen the picture. There's a little bit better. Uh, we'll actually darken this one for fun. And what happens if we put some contrast on here? There. Now, there's a piece of artwork. Uh, resize it to the size I've determined will fit best on my page. Okay. 
save. And then I go back to my document project and we'll take a couple of these off. Um, insert. my art picture there so yeah now I'm going to put this one down here and then I can copy this and there so there's my fixed up pictures now I can get six on a page and also um, you know you can name the page well I'm getting a little too wild here Look at that, I got an extra in there. Hmm. Sometimes I spend more well, time trying to get these just right, but okay, back to naming the page. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Vivitar demo.